What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Let's continue our Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay. So let's get started. Today's video, we're going to be going through the Fire Temple. We're going to be unlocking all the locks, which consists of us hitting all of the gongs and getting all of the treasure chests. Oh. So before we even go into here, we have to use Yonobo's uh, fire ability to break the rock that is in front of the door. So now that we're inside, I think this is one of the complicated temples that we go through. Huh? It's just that uh, there are so many rails that you have to maneuver on in order to reach uh, the gongs. He says, no good, no good. Princess Zelda's stuck inside. We gotta hurry up and get her. How do we get in there? So go over here and hit the switch. And the voice you'll hear again. And it will tell you where the five gongs are at in order to open the metal gate. Young little rock. The gate you must pass through is firmly locked with five padlocks. You have the power to unlock them all. Do so, then the gate should open. Heed my words. Huh? So the first thing you want to do is backtrack on the way you came and you will go up here and go to the left and you will find chest number one of the temple. Ten arrows. Like I've said in the past, you can never have too many arrows in Zelda games. Then head back to the central room. And then take a left. Take out the construct. Then you'll have to jump over the lava the river here. You will need a fire hydrant like you see where I put one on my shield or you can throw flash splash fruit 
for blue choo-choo jellies and be careful not to fall in like I did. Next you will want to jump in this mining cart and you will want to go to the next area. Make sure you hit that switch so you can go straight. Once you are here, you will go kind of to the left. We'll take out this uh, black light here. Just shoot it with something, with some water, and it'll fall to the ground. Yep. There's a chest inside of all of them. This one has a bow. Now you'll want to use uh, a hydrant to make a little bridge here, so you can shoot your no bow across it. Three platforms should be enough. Just use ultra hands to glue them all together. And that'll give you just enough of a bridge to shoot him across to break the first rock. I can do it! Sure! And for some odd reason, these sages, they just don't want to stay around you. You have to look at them. And now here is gong number one. Oh. Oh, check that out. Oh. What is that thing? It looks like a gong. Yeah, you'll be running into it. Walk up the ring. down four to go that must be the first padlock link oh there are four more for us to find that's a lot it sure is a lot like I said this thing is like a big puzzle big big maze should say always look around there's two hydrants there's one sitting there that you can put on your shield so let's make our way back to the way that we came. You want to go to the left here and climb up this little side mountain here to get the level two. Take out these two, two constructs that are in the mining cart. Took so long. That was level four. Then turn around and you will find another chest, which will be chest number two, which is a diamond. So after this, you will want to go back and return to the very first mine carts that we come to. Here I go. So now what you'll have to do is get your nobo and try to stand here and shoot it. Because we need to go up the hill here. Goro. 
I missed the first time. And he just disappeared. There he is, finally. Hey, I got it that time. Sometimes he'll stay, sometimes he'll go. Now I'm trying to follow the book on exactly how to do this, on what order, and this is the order the book says. You don't have to go in this order. This is just the way the book says, hey, this is where we want to go because I wanted to gather the chest as we go as well. hit the cart or so hit the switch get back in the cart use him to turn the switch and now we'll be going the other way and link ought to know by now that he can't take out rocks with his sword but he still tries he can't use arrows either you can't freeze it Oh, I guess you can. You can put it out. Just let Yonobo hit it with his. Uh... So hit this switch, which will turn the tracks, which you will continue to go forward to the next area. There is constructs in here, and as you can see, we're here to get our third chest. You're right. And at this point, if you haven't already, I would probably take all of your uh, sages and dismiss them because they just get in the way. So now head back the way we came to the last area. Why did I jump off? Oh, because I was supposed to stop at that other one. See what you was... I don't know what I've done here, but... Like I said, it's so confusing. So jump off and go here, and you want to hit this track. If you'll notice, the tracks have little arrows on them. I didn't notice that until just now. It'll tell you which way the uh, tracks will go up or down, or if they'll go in a circle. Hmm. Anyway, just follow where I'm at to get here. Put the cart on the rail. We're going to the next level. Why I hit that, I don't know. I'm a bad, a bad habit of just hitting everything when I get there. So, so as you can see, you'll have to use a your no bow to break the red rock here, which will make uh, stones into the lava. I can do it. Let's go. So what you'll do is, is when they get to almost underneath the platform there you would cast recall so you can ride them back across the other side now they will continue to make them which will make you a nice bridge that you can jump across over here to the next level to the gone where you'll take out this, the construct Just 
whack him with whatever kind of weapon you have. Come on. You know, Bo, you can help too. I just put your sword back, it's okay. That was a level four as well. Now grab him and hit the second gong. And then the second lock will open. Three to go. Let's hurry, Goro. So circle back the way you came. Don't jump into the water like I did. You can cast a recall on it. And it should bring it back to you enough that you can jump on it. Actually, it'll slow it down. Either way. So the book said to use a wing on your arrow to make it go farther. Because now we're going to be going up. So I guess it was a good thing I hit that earlier. Floor. This is a wide open area. There's several things that you can do here. Chest number four is over there against the wall. Also, with some Zonai devices, some fans. Oh, yeah, there's always a construct around here. I think this is a level five the way it looks. has a flame emitter. Hey, at least you know Yunobo's helping this time. Last time he just stood back and watched me do all the work. Nope, I think that was a level four too. Ten more airs. You can't have enough airs in Zelda. There's a hydrant over here. There's three more. Got a couple rockets and a hydrant. The book says to flip this switch right here, and I have no idea why. I don't remember what I've done with it. I've watched this video several times and don't remember what I've done with it. So it says to go to over here to these two rockets or these two carts. As you can see, the rail is broken. So you want to use rockets to get across to the other side. Land on the center here, then use another rocket and get over there any way you can. I kind of fell into the Fell into the uh, lava and had to end up using uh, the hovercraft to get there. Now you want to ultra hand glue this little bridge together, which it'll work. It just don't look like it did, but it does. Use him to bust the rock up top, which a metal block will fall. You will jump on it and you will cast recall to take you up to the next level.
So turn around and here is gong number three. You'll say three down and two to Just go. Two left, Link. Let's keep it up, Goro. Let's keep it up, Goro. So from here, you want to go to the left, and you'll want to kind of fall down to the next level, because we'll be going after chest number five. You'll move these uh, metal grates here, and it's under there. Yep. Ten more errors. Now from here you want to go back through where we just come from. And you want to take one of these uh, carts and you want to hook it to the, the two tracks over here. There's one that's broken and there's one that goes all the way across. So you want to hook this to the one that's go all the way across which is just what I'm trying to do here and then you will want to hook a fan to it to give you some proportion to go across I just used one of the fans that was already on the carts here in order for me to get into the cart I had to kind of walk up on the ramp and then jump down. I tried to jump here and I couldn't get on it. I couldn't grab a hold of it. So you have to go back. Kind of go up the ramp here and jump off to be able to make it in the cart. Which will take you across to the next level, the next area. I'm following the book. I probably couldn't find them, but these if it wasn't for the book, because it is just a big, big maze. So here we are to treasure chest number six. And it's a ruby. just like before you want to fall down to level three we are back in this big area where that crystal was at where you got one of the chest hop in the cart here you can see here and head back to this area then you want to pick this cart up Sit it on the other tracks and then go to that area. You could probably use the hover cart and be able to find all of these without having to do all this. Here's where I kind of got tangled up, messed up. I didn't exactly know what to do. So, first, you'll use you know bow to bust the red rock and then if you'll notice behind it there is two switches so what you'll do is is you will hit the one furthest to the left that raises that platform is turning then you want to keep shooting the right switch until it gets turned around to go up so you want to grab a cart with a fan, face it that way, hop on it, and then go up the track. I can do it! I can do it! Now we're on level four. So once we are here, there is treasure chest number seven and another construct. More arrows. I think there is more arrows in this dungeon, or 
sorry. In this temple than any any other ones that we've done. And when we get to the boss, we'll see why. Or so why. I'm glad there was a lot of arrows in this temple. So now you'll want to jump on this in this cart, but you have a surprise. Once you get about three quarters of the way up it, there will be another cart coming down with another construct on it that you will have to uh, take care of. So the best thing to do is just turn the fan off, ride it all the way back down, move the cart out of your way, then head back up the hill. So when you get here, you want to run around to the right here, go around the corner, go over a small wooden bridge, and then you want to fall down to the next platform here. Go over here and hit this switch which will lower the tracks, open the gate, turn the cart around, and head back down. Like I said, this is a big maze. And you'll see the gong in front of you. So what you'll have to do is, you see the little ramp here on the right hand side? You'll have to get Yonobo and shoot him up the ramp to knock the red rock off, which You'll see there is a hydrant up there that is making platforms. You'll have to glue the platforms together to make a bridge or a ramp for him to be shot up there to get goal number four, which will unlock the fourth path. So if you notice when you turn Link around, you will see that red rock over there. So you'll have to use those platforms to make a ramp for you to be able to shoot Yonobo up there to break that stone. And then you will want to make your way up there, whether you fly, you climb, you make a device, but there's where you want to go. There's the next area you want to be in. Once you're up here, turn around, and you'll notice the big hole. Well, you'll be falling down through here. Uh, be careful because on the first ledge, we will be hitting chest number eight, which I'm thinking is a some type of zonite con construct. Yep, a soldier reaper. Then you'll want to fall all the way down to the bottom, which we will be getting gone number five and yep. chest number nine. So you grab your no bow and shoot him at the gong to unlock the last and final pattern. So what you'll do is see that yellow crystal, you'll hit it to open the gate. So now you make your way back to the central platform where the gate is at. You will take and flip the switch. And the gate will fall. Huh? 
It's opened. We gotta smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. So the only thing you have to do when you walk into this big room is to take him and to shoot him straight and let him blast the rocks that are on the ceiling. I can do it! Charge! Where's Zelda? She's not there. There is a gigantic four legged That's spider. Really, really big! Yep. Have you noticed in every one of these Zelda games there's always a spider to beat? Always. In every Zelda game I've oh, ever played. No. There's always a spider in every one of these other games I've ever played. Don't even ask me how to say that. I do not know how. Blake, we've got a saber, Goro. So there's several ways that you can beat this monster. Uh, you can shoot Yanobo at the legs and knock them all down so you can get up to him and take him out. Uh, you can uh, Be careful. He will shoot um, rocks out of his head. Now don't do this. He can't do this. I figured, well, I'll just go up to his eyeball and start whacking on it, but you can't because he'll knock you off because he's not been stunned. So he will sling rocks out. What I did was is I just, like, used recall on them, and when it got over his head, hit the button and they exploded. Then you can, like, climb up to him and take him out like that. That's how I did first phase. Second phase, he will be on the ceiling. If you'll notice, he will start moving just a little bit. You need to jump off, otherwise he will knock you off and take off all your hearts, considering I ain't got me five. So just continue to recall the rocks and use the sin to beat his eye until phase two. And yes, I've already had the master sword, so I'm using it with a uh, Lionel bone on So phase two, you can use Yanobo to like go around and knock his legs off so he'll fall. I tried it a few times, but couldn't ever aim it right, so. This whole entire second phase, I just shot arrows at him. So I used uh, the eyeballs. That's what I used because they have a homing ability and just kept shooting. Why I chose electricity, I don't know. That was just the one that I've used a lot of, so I just... See why I was telling you that I'm glad that there was a lot of uh, arrows in this dungeon or temple.
Yeah, you'll have to watch out because he will throw these rocks at you and they will explode. So you need to make sure you keep running from them. That one I missed. Wow, that last one took quite a bit. Now, the only thing left to do is to get the heart piece, the secret stone, and the vow of Yonobo, and then we'll head back to the Goron City. who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war, and the duty of our people. Many years ago, in the Kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days, a great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the Kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Rauru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was... The imprisoning war. And then some time later, 
The Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Yonobo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. So, it's my duty to help you fight? Hmm... And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was... But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down! There's no way I'll let that happen! I can do this! your fist. Hmm. You can count on the Sage of Fire. I'll fight by your side till the very end. And take this. It's proof I stand with you. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise, I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. So once we make it back to the Goron City, all the marble rock roast will start disappearing. And then the big stack of marble rock roast in the center will also dis disappear. And all the Gorons will go back to normal. No more red eyes. And they were like, what's going on? Where have I been doing? I've lost my mind forever. But we're back. And the little kids are like, yay, we're all back to normal.
Well, there is the fire temple complete. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell at the bottom of the page so you'll never miss an upload. So until then, keep exploring.